Hi, welcome back to the base Uke series and um, we're going to continue with Sokomen Irimunage. You might start with Taino Henko if you want for this and then move into Sokomen Irimunage. So if we start with Taino Henko, the basic movement. Oh, ah, thank you Stuart again for Uke. Uh, so we start with Taino Henko. One, two. One, two. Now, okay, really important that I do my job and don't lose my base. I'm based here even though he is on me. Okay? Then you can see, start to explore what might be a possibility. So, one, two, and we have Sumi Atoshi. One, two, here. Oh, that did work. <laughs> One, two, here, here, Sankajo. Sankajo. One, two, here, taking the bottom hand. Okay, let's just work with those three. So now let's explore those uh, from Sokomen Irimi Nage. So what do we do the first one? So one, two, three, two, this way. One, two, here. One, two. So I took it myself a little further on that one. But you could, if you did the other one, you could, one at that point is a good time. But I took it here, here. But he's, he's taking it over here anyway. I've stepped in. Instead of allowing him one to come to there, I've moved off the line one, and I've brought his hand to there, which he can now do irimi-nage. But if I move at the right time, I can bring this around for sumi So let's do it one more time. So note that he didn't make a mistake there in terms of his arm. I placed my body and moved my arm so that's where it went. Mm. I guided his arm. Is that what you felt? Mm. Yeah. See, I moved his arm. Then I can move very slowly. The other thing from that I just felt one from here is his hand's very vulnerable to Kodigashi here. On the inside. We won't do any more on that because we just want to do those three that came up before. So that's the sumiyatoshi. But I could do the sumiyatoshi from not bringing my hand out. One. If I get to here, no good. I'm done. So one. That point. When he's just starting to enter. Did you feel that? Here. One. Two. My timing for the moment he starts to enter is the time that I do the U shape. So I'll we'll do it really slow now. So instead of moving and guiding his arm out, now this moment here is when I redirect where he's going from this way. So I take this position, I'm based. As soon as I feel him moving, I move. And I'm ready for some time. Okay, so we did from Taino Henko, from here, we came under. So now let's do it from Sokomeni Diminage. One, two, here. Break. You could do uh, Sankajo Nage or you could do Sankajo also, up to you. One, two, break, down, finish, finish, whatever you want to finish with, how up to you. But getting to the Sankajo is important. One, stop there. Okay, again, same timing as the, uh, the Sumiyotoshi. I, as soon as I feel him coming forward, I use shape. This hand now, you can attend me here, then underneath. 
here, then thread in this way. And now feel wow. it. Uh, from this way. Now, same footwork as the sumiyatoshi and thread. Or we could do that other side that I showed before, but I'm still connected here. If I do a slack thing like this, he continues. I, I can't stay connected to him. My base is not moving through him. I can't do anything. So Uke has to do, if they don't play their role, they don't keep themselves in the, let's use the word game. They take themselves out of the equation. So I need to be strong and authentic. I'm with him now. I'm, so as soon as he feels, I'm under. Break. Cut down. Awesome. Oh, that other one that we were going to do. No. Doesn't work. Doesn't work with this one. My hands are in a different position. And the last one. Oh, what's your sense on? On that uh, so far, on the sunken job. Yeah, it's, it's again like the previous ones when you feel like that rubber band the fact you feel like your power's going over and something has gone is coming back it's that loss of balance yeah i just at the right point yes it is the timing after all if he gets me to this position mm. game over and his his soccer man is connected to my center to here then none of this will work the last one i attack the bottom hand okay i mean the uh, this hand becomes his bottom hand so I tap this one now. Here at this point, I tap the bottom hand. From this way. I still do this, so I'm still connected. But as soon as this comes here. Now in order to get to that position. One. As it's coming, I need to exchange, probably better from this angle. I need to, I'm here, I'm one, two. He can't blaze through this, try and break through this. Okay, he can't. Even if he wants to come to me, come to me. He can't. Because I'm keeping, this is the barrier between him and me. We were here, one. Now, he wants to come at me, right? This is what he wants. He wants that. He goes, one. He can't because he's, I've used his arm as the barrier between us. Now we're in hijabi kokinage position. Now, to get to the leverage part of it, though, I must bring this elbow to it because it's a, it can break here or I could just come through, throw this way as well. One more time. One, two, three. Okay. What? Yeah, it's that subtle tipping of the balance point. And that's when it changes from stay to look at So there's a moment when you yeah. you consciously are You can just it. feel it just coming over the front of your tongue. At that point, there's nothing. Stay the comes again. Mm. Um, I hope you enjoyed that episode on Soccer Mini Ryu Nage. Also, start with Taino Henko Ichi, the basic movement or the Kihon Dosa, and explore the feelings of the, of the changes there, and then apply it perhaps to Soccer Mini Ryu Nage. It might be a nice progression for you to get to. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy your training. Let me know what you feel and think when you perhaps practice these um, in the comments below. But let's be respectful. See you next time. Oh,